What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some competitive advanced warfare gameplay, and this is actually against several pro players. Uh, we met up to the ranked system. This was when I was still, still pretty much just starting out in the ranking system. I was still in bronze at the time, I believe, working my way up to silver. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of the ranked system yet. But, um, yeah, I ran into Sinful, John, and Twiz, and uh, we kind of had a comeback on them. We, we did pretty well. Uh, the gameplay was extremely long. I had to cut it down. Um, it was originally like 20 minutes. As you can see, it's much shorter than that now. So um, I'm sorry if you wanted to see the whole thing. It's just it's way too long. There were way too many uh, stale moments, which is pretty funny considering this is Advanced Warfare. It's supposed to be very fast-paced. I kind of think I set the tone pretty early on to play more cautious because that's what I wanted to do and I wanted to draw the pro players out because uh, I know they want to rush around and so they started picking up on that and they started playing more cautious as well but um, I did pretty well so I hope you guys enjoy that um, real quick I am going to be bringing you guys one to two new advanced warfare videos each day this week um, and it will be covering competitive tips and tricks tips and tricks in general about the game information uh, things like that. Today is just an impressions video though because I am absolutely exhausted. It's just going to be my first impressions of the game so far because I've been playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for like 14-15 hours straight now. I've had no sleep so I'm very very tired. So I just wanted to bring this to you guys and let you know what my thoughts are if they make any sense at this point of my very uh, tired mind. So first thing is that when I picked up the game, I noticed that the mechanics were very, very different. And obviously, we knew this was going to happen, but it was strange just how different it was. I thought I'd be okay, because I played a lot of Destiny and Titanfall. But it, it just really did feel different. It didn't quite click with me until actually after this uh, gameplay was taking place. It was actually pretty shortly after. You can see as this gameplay goes on, I, my uh, shot gets a little bit better and some of the mechanics get a little better. But you can also tell I'm still pretty uncomfortable with some of it. But um, it got better as time went on. The guns just feel really different. I don't know what it is exactly, but they just they they bounce a little different, and the the recoil patterns are slightly um, off, and the strafe is different. And I don't know. It's just it's really weird. Um, and of course, exo abilities make it all the much harder to um, incorporate and everything. So yeah, mechanics were very different. I would say it probably took me a good eight hours or so to really start get into um, the mechanics and really fully understand it and start incorporating it correctly. Uh, next thing is maps and game modes. Basically, I know initially we were thinking, hey, maybe five competitive game modes. I'm going to tell you there is no way that is going to happen now um, unless people are absolutely insane because I've played quite a bit of the five competitive game modes. I was ranked within uh, the top thousand or so for a while in each of those game modes uh, last night, but the issue is that Uplink and Momentum are just not really that good of games for the competitive scene, especially Uplink. It's um, it's pretty ridiculous. Momentum, it, it, it to me, it just doesn't work. I've heard a lot of people voice similar opinions. Uh, things could change with some of the patches, um, and there are some other things that need to be fixed that I'll talk about later on here and perhaps that could affect it but I think it's going to probably be hardpoint SND and CTF the maps seem very well designed for SND and CTF in particular I find that hardpoint is a bit terrible right now um, I don't like the locations on some of them everything there's so much openness to it that it's very 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 difficult to actually hold anything down especially with all the extra movements and everything and the spawns are pretty messed up, which I'll talk about in just a second. Um, next thing I kind of noticed was, basically, everybody was using the exact same weapon, which is the one I'm using right here, and I, I can't remember the name right now. I'm really sorry. I'm absolutely exhausted, but there's no variety. The submachine guns are beyond overpowered. Um, this is by far the most favored assault rifle right now. There are others that are viable. Uh, but this is the one that most people seem to be using right now. Um, yeah, I know Sledgehammer has said that they're going to work with the community and work on uh, buffs and nerfs and everything. And I trust them so far because they've 
uh, kept their word so far with things in the competitive scene and things of that nature. So should be all right. Just know that right now, basically the only option is one AR and it's like the first one you unlock. So next thing is the importance of sound. If you're playing S and D in this game, sound is so crucial because in the other game modes, everything's so hectic. Your footsteps don't really matter, but in S and D, it really does. You can hear footsteps by quite a large distance away. Also planning and diffusing bombs. You can like hear that across the map. It's ridiculous. I need to actually measure it at some point and maybe make a video on it on just how far away you can actually hear the bomb being planted. It's ridiculous. There is going to be a lot of sound whoring in this game. Uh, so know that. Next thing is finally I can talk about the spawns here. These spawns especially in hardpoint are absolutely awful right now um that and momentum uh the spawns they just they're they're absolutely crazy they're hectic uh later on i'm gonna be going in with my teammates and we're gonna uh monkey the spawns and see if we can figure out what's going on with them which is where we're just gonna go in with uh ourselves and a split screen and then set up in certain positions and kill somebody and see where we spawn over and over and over again which is really boring but it needs to be done at some point uh, and just see if we can figure it out next thing is there's a definite skill gap in this game although there's not as much as I would like I would love for there to be a higher time to kill in this game which would um, further increase the skill gap but that's just simply not gonna happen right now it's alright um, especially with all the extra movements and dodge you know the better players really are gonna stand out and that's just gonna be the way that it is uh, next thing is latency it's Still a fairly laggy game if the host is not near you, you know? Like, it's it's still a network-based game. It's, it's um, if you were hoping to get away from some of the lag issues of Ghost, that's not necessarily the case if you're going into private matches. I haven't had lag problems really in public matches, though, so it should be okay in that aspect. Um, but... Yeah, that's basically my first impressions. Overall, I feel like the game is definitely better than Ghost, and that's all that really matters right now because I hate that game with a passion. I didn't, I haven't wanted to play it for months now. I'm glad it's gone, um, and we got a new game here. I'm going to enjoy learning the spawns and the rotations and everything that we need to do for this game. But, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out. Looks like you just added a few zeros to those bonus checks, gentlemen. Good work.